Yeah, we back. We back. Now, today we're going to be talking about the conflict going on between Israel and Palestine, but also we're going to be talking about Beyonce. Now, every time I touch on this topic, I know it's a very sensitive subject, but I got to speak the truth, man. I got to tell it like it is. And luckily for me, the only opinions that matter to me are the opinions of my ancestors. And as long as they approve of my message, I really don't care what you have to say. So anyways, let's get into it. Not wasting no time. Take a look up on the screen. Pro-Palestinian fans of pop star Beyonce are turning on the performer because her Renaissance concert film will be screened in Israel. The movie was shot during Beyonce's record-breaking Renaissance World Tour and is set for a theatrical release on December 1st. The upcoming release of Beyonce's concert film has sparked a wave of controversy due to its planned screenings in Israel. The decision has drawn criticism from pro-Palestinian fans, leading to a potential backlash. The controversy has left fans in a state of conflict with calls for Beyonce to address the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and potentially withdraw the film from Israeli theaters. The decision to screen the film has led to disappointment and consideration of a boycott by some fans. Pro-Palestinian supporters have urged Beyonce to speak out against the conflict and reconsider the film screening in Israel. Despite this, Beyonce has not publicly addressed these concerns and her representatives have not provided any official comments. Now listen, <laughs> listen, some of you may be new here, but for those of y'all who've been here for a while, you already know where I stand on this subject. So I'm not gonna hold back, I'm gonna tell it like it is, bro. I'm gonna tell it like it is. Anyways, let's take a look at some of the reactions on social media. This person said, Beyonce knows what is happening in Israel. If her daughter can see mean comments about herself, then I'm sure she has seen the thousands of Palestinian children all on our timelines. Beyonce does not care. She cares about money and power. She's a part of the ruling class. <laughs> now, listen, man, this is off topic, but I did a video on this lady right here up on the screen. You know, it's uh, it's off topic. For those of y'all who remember, though, you, you know, we did a video on this one right here. Anyways, this person said... Beyonce made a whole Africa album, Africa dedicated album. She has not said anything about Congo, Ethiopia, even the black people losing their lives in Tunisia and Sudan by the Arabs. You guys had absolutely no complaints when she ignored all of those. But now, what inspired this 180 flip towards her? Black people in Libya are experiencing literal slavery. Still nothing from Beyonce. If you listen to her music, please continue to do so because her lack of activism never stopped you before. She has and will never be an advocate for any cause outside of Black Lives Matter. Maybe. Get over it. Now, listen, man, listen, uh, that brother is 100% right. That brother is 100% right. All the various situations and conflicts that are happening across the African continent, Beyonce has never opened her mouth and said a word, and it was never an issue before. It was never a problem before. She never said a word about the Congo, Ethiopia, Mali, Burkina Faso, Niger. Beyonce never said anything when the women in Niger didn't know how they were going to feed their family because of the economic sanctions placed against them by the European Union, by the entire world damn near. Beyonce didn't say a word about it. Beyonce never said a word about the Haitian women in Haiti. Beyonce never said a word about the women in the Congo. Nothing. But nobody was bringing no backlash against Beyonce. Nobody was calling for boycotts against Beyonce. But now because she's not running to the defense of the Arab man in, in Palestine, now all of a sudden we got to boycott Beyonce. Bro, I'm going to tell you like this, bro. I'm going to tell you like this. If I got to choose between the Arab man or the black woman i'm choosing a black woman every single time brother like i don't it's not even a question for me it's not even a question for me if you think i'm gonna go against the black woman for the arab man what the fuck is you smoking what is you drinking pass me the bottle pass me the fucking bottle because listen you want some other shit you want some other shit now i'm gonna go against the black woman for the arab man <laughs> listen y'all boys smoking y'all boys high y'all boys <laughs> listen get the coke out your nose man you boys tripping let's continue this person said, as someone who positioned herself to her base as a champion of social justice, she can't even speak out against a literal genocide, and somehow people are trying to obscure, dismiss, or excuse this basic observation. The mental gymnastics are something to watch. Now, listen, fill me in when Beyonce ever said that she was a champion of social justice for everyone across the world, right? Maybe she might have done some social justice for Black Lives Matter because that is her people. She did an album called Black is King. She went to Africa, had the African cultural attire, the whole theme. You know, because that is her folks and there's nothing wrong with that. But just because Beyonce in the past may have used her platform to bring publicity to the plight of her people or might have used her platform to embrace African culture. Why do you think that by extension, she now has to embrace the Arabs, too? Why? Why? Well, that's where y'all lose me, bro. That's where y'all lose me. So because Beyonce has used her platform to empower her own people and bring light to her own people and embrace African culture, now she has to stand in solidarity and lock arms with the Arabs too? Since when? Since when? Do you know how they treat black women in that part of the world? 
A black woman doesn't have to do shit for no fucking Arab, bro. If a black woman does not have solidarity with the Arabs, that it, she is well within her rights to feel the way she feels. She is justified to feel how she feels. And I don't care what nobody say about it, bro. I don't care what nobody say, bro. Man, listen. O'Shea Duke Jackson on his Kangana channel, he has a whole series titled How Black Women Are Treated in the Arab World, How They Treat It in the Middle East. He has a bunch of videos interviewing black women who have went to various countries in the Middle East and they are giving their firsthand accounts of what they've seen. And I should do videos on that. I was going to do a video on that, because, but I didn't do it because I know so many of y'all love the Arab so much. Y'all love them so fucking much. So I said, man, fuck it. I ain't even gonna do it, bro. I ain't even gonna do it. But I say that to say, if a black woman does not have any solidarity with the Arabs, she is justified. Historically, she is justified to feel how she feels. And I don't care what you feel about it. Cause like I said before, if you gave me an ultimatum and I had to choose between the Arab man or the black woman, I'm choosing the black woman every single time. No questions asked. I don't give a fuck how you feel about it. Fuck how you feel, bro. Fuck how you feel. <laughs> so it is what it is, bro. If Beyonce doesn't want to jeopardize her own economic prosperity to run to the defense of the Arabs, she is justified because throughout history, the Arab man has put his own economic prosperity above the welfare of black women. So it is what it is, bro. Fuck how, fuck how you feel about it. Fuck how they feel about it. I'm standing with the black woman. I'm standing with the black man. I'm standing with black children above anybody else. So, you know, I really don't care what you feel about it. If you're an Arab lover, I mean, I'm sorry, get in your feelings. I don't care. I, fuck how you feel. I mean, it is what it is. Now let's continue. This person said, what is the point of using the activist aesthetic if you're not ready to get active? Once again, like I said, Beyonce in the past may have used her platform to shed light on the struggles of her own people. But just because she did that does not mean that by extension, she has to now lock arms with the Arabs. And if you want me to be honest, I don't believe a black woman. There's no reason for any black woman anywhere in the world to ever come to the defense of an Arab for any reason at all. If you want to, if you want my uncensored opinion, right? Like I said before, if a black woman doesn't feel the need to stand in solidarity with the Arab, she is justified. She is justified. She is justified. There's no explanation needed. There's no statement to be made. She is justified. You don't even have to go back in history to say that she is justified. You can simply bring the examples of all the black women that go to the Middle East for better opportunities and come back in a casket. So to be honest, how dare you? How dare any of you? try to come at a black woman because she doesn't want to stand to the defense of the Arabs. How dare you? You got some nerve. You got some audacity. <laughs> Man, how dare you, bro? How dare you question a black woman on her position on the Arabs, bro? How fucking dare you? Fuck you, man. <laughs> Fuck all y'all, man. Let's continue. This person said, where are the Middle Eastern celebrities? Why do y'all want black people to be on the front lines of every global conflict? Man, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. Now, this person said, for real, and as an Arab citizen, I can confirm our celebrities aren't doing shit. <laughs> Bro, listen, they own celebrities ain't even doing shit, but the black woman has to come to the defense of the Arabs. How dare you? How dare you, man? How dare you? Let's continue. This person said, we are the mascot class in white supremacist society. Now, I agree with that. We are definitely the mascots. You know, people definitely look to black folks to be the mascots of everything, carry the water, you know, carry the water for everybody. Those days are over, man. Those days are over. Those days are dying. Okay, those days, those days are numbered. Okay, the days that a black man and black woman being the mascot and carrying the water for everybody, those days are dying. Those days are numbered. It is what it is. Now, let's continue. This person said, and I hope she stays quiet. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. This person said, they let her cosplay as a black revolutionary on stage and expected her to be a real one. Now, what does black revolution have to do with Arabs? That's what I don't understand. What does the black revolution have to do with some fuck? <laughs> Yo, I don't understand it, bro. Where is the connection between the black revolution and a raps? Those are not my brothers. Let's continue. This person said at the top. So what is she supposed to do? I'm confused. And someone responded and said to not screen her movie there and bring awareness to the war. Man, listen, man. So Beyonce is supposed to sacrifice her economic prosperity to save the Arabs, but never in a million years would an Arab sacrifice his own economic prosperity to come to the defense of a black woman. No, in fact, as we speak, as we speak right now, it's probably a black woman somewhere sleeping in the goddamn bathroom of an Arab man's house, sleeping next to the toilet right now as I'm recording this video. He would never sacrifice his own economic prosperity to improve her station in life. So why should Beyonce be forced to sacrifice her own economic prosperity to save the Arabs? Fuck y'all, man. Fuck y'all, and I'm saying that. That Fakari that Selena is saying that. I'm saying that, and I'm standing on that. I'm standing on business, bro. Standing on business. 
Now, let's continue. This person said, black people are not the saviors of the world. No one is saving black people from slavery going on in the Middle East and racism from all races, including the Arabs and the Jews. Beyonce will do what she wants. You did not elect her to be anyone's spokesperson or pay her with your taxes. Listen, that's a fact, man. That's a fact. Now, let's continue. This person said, no Arab can ever make me hate a black woman. Man, that is exactly how I feel, bro. That is exactly how I feel. I don't care what nobody say about it. There is no Arab from any country that will ever make me go against a black woman in defense of an Arab. Because guess what? An Arab will never go against an Arab woman in defense of a black woman or a black man or a black child. It would never happen. An Arab would never go against his own in defense of the blacks. So why would me as a black man go against a black woman for an Arab? You are drunk. You are high. You are out of your mind. Get off the drugs, man. Get off the fucking drugs. Let's continue. This person said, oh, no, the anti-black Arabs have put an imaginary stain on Beyonce's career. Whatever will she do? <laughs> exactly, bro. Exactly. Because this Arab dude on the bottom had said that this is a stain on Beyonce's career that she will never wash out. Who gives a fuck what you think, bro? Who gives a fuck what you think, man? Who the fuck is you? Nigga. <laughs> Out your fucking mind, nigga. You think we go against a black woman for an A-Rap, nigga? You fucking drunk, nigga. You fucking drunk. Man, listen. Fuck out of here, bro. Fuck out of here. Now, let's continue. Take a look up on the screen. This person said, It's laughable that people want us, black people, even more so Beyonce, to fight for white and Arab issues in which she or we are not a part of. For hundreds and hundreds of years, our ancestors fought endless inhumane battles with the help of no one. And you people sit here in your privilege asking us to fight for those who never give a fuck about us. Please spare me the bullshit. Neither we or Beyonce or the white man or the Arab man a fuck ass thing because at the end of the day, they felt as though we didn't have the right to live. Now listen, bruh. Going back to what I said, if a black woman says that she has no solidarity with the Arabs, she is justified historically and in the present day. So fuck how you feel about it. It is what it is. Like I told you before, if you gave me an ultimatum and I had to choose between the Arab man or the black woman, I'm choosing a black woman 100 times out of 107 days a week, 24 hours out of the day, every single time. No questions asked. It is what it is, because if the roles were reversed, if the roles were reversed, the Arab man would do the exact same thing. The Arab man would never go against his own women in defense of the black man. So it is what it is, bro. It is what it is. If you feel some type of way about it, it is what it is. Fuck how you feel. Anyways, man, it's your boy Nefakari. That's Celine back in the building. Yes, indeed. Cash app up on the screen. And I'm gone. Peace. Reincarnated, I'm back in original fashion. I left on a horse and came back in that ass. And I left with abundance and came back to famine. We used to be pyramids, now we be rapping. Look how the mighty have fallen. Used to be running, sh now we be walking. When you be cooning, that's when they applauded. Selling your soul, your sons and your daughter. Gotta come up in this shit. They stuck in the mix. Really, my heart would be breaking. That's why I'm stacking that paper and handle my business. Pass it down in generation. Talking about money and power and building a nation. That's a deadly combination. Never be watching the TV, they pushing the genders. Falsifying information. Information. Know they got malice intentions. Step in the room and I'm feeling the tension. Enemy watching me blocking my vision. Pay for the check cause I need my redemption. Building my kingdom, I need it protected. Ready for war like a young money Congo. Never decided the team is the motto. Up in the crib and I'm whipping up waffles. Up in the crib and I'm smoking gelato. I'm chilling, I'm taking my pain and make it ambition. I'm blessed by the gods, but I ain't religious. I came for the power, they came for the bitch. They making no hourly wage. I got business. This shit is an art and it can never be taught. Selling my soul, I can never be bought. Play all my money, I see you ain't. Caught. Run to the check and I do it for sport. Babylon falling, I go to the source. Packing my luggage and go overseas. Shorty be with me and she so elite. Shorty be chugged and I'm calling her Hershey. Secret intelligence probably gon' murder me. Don't fuck with brands, cause nigga, I'm Haitian. Say the wrong shit and you're smacking their faces.